Hi everybody, my name's Alana. I hope you are all well. And today I'm going to make my first ever YouTube video, which I'm really, really excited about because I've been thinking about doing YouTube for a long, long time and I feel like I'm ready for it now and up for the challenge. And today I would like to film my makeup collection of 2017. Um, I feel like I have a fair bit of makeup, nowhere near as much as you will see on other youtubers channels but I have enough for me and my collection is growing quite a lot lately so that is why I wanted to film this video for you today so I'm really really excited to get started so I think we're just gonna jump straight into it and if you would like to see my makeup collection then please keep watching so this is currently how I am storing my makeup with these two containers some containers for my brushes a container for my earboards and cotton pads and things like that my container for my beauty blenders which i am not happy with because the beauty blenders are actually bigger than the case so i'm looking for something else for that i also store some of my makeup over here in these three makeup bags um this one just has like spare brushes in this one has got my eyeshadow palettes in and this one is in two sections and the top section has my skincare products in and this section has spare makeup which I won't really reach for anymore. Um, just some makeup removal wipes, um, my makeup brush cleaner and a makeup brush cleaner like tool which it is it is quite good for the money i think it was like one pound fifty from primark so i can't really complain and then i also have some iphone cases up here which i'm not sure why they are there um they shouldn't be there but i'm gonna get straight into my organizers and um how i store my makeup now this isn't how I would quite like it to look. I don't feel like it's 100% how I want it yet, but I feel like it is definitely getting there. Um, and I feel like once my collection has like grown and I have my vanity table, which I'm waiting for currently, it will look um, a lot nicer than it does at the moment. So over here I have this Soap and Glory set, which I believe somebody got me for. Christmas um I really I don't really use anything out of this set except from the blusher because it is really really like it's like a pale nudie pink so for my skin it just looks really really nice let me just swatch it real quick let me just show you so it has that like really nice pale pink colour and it just adds that rosiness like back into your cheek. So I just keep that there because I can't take the pan out of the packet which is really really frustrating. And then on the top of this container, oh actually very quickly, this container was £10 from Primark I believe. And then this one, which you can't really see, this one was six pound from wilco's i believe and the containers on top i honestly couldn't tell you where they are from i believe they're from wilco's and i think they're about three pounds three pounds fifty which is really really good money really good value for money sorry on the top of this stand i have my lip liners which honestly at the start of this year I had so many lip liners and now I have two, like I cannot find them, I don't know whether I've lost them in old makeup bags and accidentally threw them away, I'm not sure but now I'm down to two so I really need to stock up on those. I have two liquid suede, I have number three, um, does it have the actual names of the colours on here? yes cherry skies this one is called it's a very deep dark red and i really do like it if i'm going for a dramatic look and then this one is number four and this one is called soft spoken and it is it's like a very nice pale nude that, that hint of like brown or pink it is really really nice 
and this is my liquid NYX liquid matte lingerie ones um, this is in number 12 and the colour is exotic and this is actually the colour that I have on today I really really like it this is number 24 and this one is called um, I'm not sure I think you pronounce it cabaret show cabaret show I'm not sure it's a really really nice colour it's very similar to this one but it has a very very different formula I have a soft matte lip cream which I don't really reach for I don't really use it and then this is a butter gloss it's the only NYX butter gloss that I have because I don't really reach for glosses as much as I do matte lips um, I have some hand cream on here to keep my hands nice and moisturised I have some hand sanitizer which I apply before I do my makeup obviously on my hands to keep away any dirt getting on my face this is a container which I got from Real Techniques. I didn't actually realise that I was getting this. I brought um, a brush set from Real Techniques and this case was in the bottom. I didn't even realise it was a really happy coincidence. I have these little sachets which have no strips in to get rid of those dirty nasty blackheads that I cannot stand. I have another hand cream but this one is by Soap Glory and it has a really really nice smell to it and these are just some everyday tweezers i like the ones with the thin top not the angled ones because um i just feel like they get into my eyebrow hairs a lot better and then this is just a nail buffer it has like your file removing edges buff etc um just makes your nails look really really nice um like you've been to the nail shop so if i get my nails took off to let them like breathe for a week i will do that to my nails to keep them looking nice oh it doesn't fit back in there can sort that out later and then in my actual first acrylic set of drawers in the top drawer it is a bit of a mess it doesn't look messy but it's not how i want it i want like a drawer for highlighters or a drawer for blushers or a drawer for powders whereas this one is all crammed into one and i'm not happy with it but as i said i am getting there so this is a highlighter from mua and it is really really nice it has like a gold tone to it though so if ever i want a very very dramatic look i will go for this one it is really really nice um this one is a bella pierre luminizer also very nice this one has like a subtle i say subtle but it, it's very very dramatic it just makes it look like your skin is glowing but it doesn't look like this highlighter there this is actually a bronzer and i'm not sure why it's in this drawer but it fits in here quite nicely it is a very very dark bronzer for my pale skin so i tend not to reach for that one i have two nyx blushes um this one is my favorite blush by nyx it is still very very pink um which i do prefer my soap and glory one but this is the one that i will carry around with me um i actually have this in my everyday makeup bag and then this one is like a pale pink i don't feel like it is very pigmented so i don't really reach for it hence why it looks barely used still yeah just barely used and then this is a liquid highlighter by topshop i really do recommend going into topshop and looking at their makeup because it is super 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 affordable and sometimes you get some really nice things from in there now this is called blaze i believe yeah blaze and it is really good but i would only ever wear it if i was going out into town or something because it does have a very pink undertone obviously you can see even with the flash on it you can see just how much that is going to make you shine it is amazing i have a pressed powder finishing powder by nyx it is really really good for setting my under eye makeup um like my concealers and things and then this is my go-to setting powder it is by rimmel and it is stay matte in transparent i love 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 this setting powder 
it keeps my makeup in place all day because I have really really oily skin I'm quite an oily mess so that controls my oils very very well on to the second drawer so this drawer just has my mascaras in it eyeliners liquid eyeliners um, eyebrow products I will only use the next tin frame on my eyebrows I used to use an eyebrow pencil but I really struggle to like blend it out whereas I feel like this blends out really nicely my control freak eyebrow mascaras they're like they are a clear gel so it doesn't add any color to my eyebrows which I like because I feel like it makes them look really natural but makes them stand out this is my favorite mascara it is by soap and glory and it is the thick and fast mascara it is really really good gets every single one of my eyelashes and coats them really nicely this is my volume shake by oops this is my volume shake by Rimmel it is really really good um, however I don't reach for this as much anymore so on to the third drawer so in this drawer I have all of my concealers, colour correctors and things like that. I have a couple collection last and perfection ones. This one is in lemon um, and it really really works at brightening that under eye area and it doesn't cake up which I really 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 like about this one. Uh, another favourite of mine is my NARS. I think this is the creamy radiant yeah radiant creamy concealer is a really really nice color um, the color is light three vanilla if my camera would like to focus thank you very much and it is really really good um, I really like it for my under eyes and also concealing underneath where my contour is just to make it look really really sharp if I want something more dramatic I have a couple of the anti-age eye eraser by Rimmel I do like them but I just don't reach for them as much anymore I have a Bella Pierre one I have a NYX this is actually an eyeshadow base I really really recommend it it's a very very neutral colour so it doesn't like look strange even if you decide not to wear any foundation uh, not foundation eyeshadow sorry um i reach for this all the time at the moment it is a color correcting one by barry m this is obviously the green one i have a purple one the like the ready orangey one and then this is like the neutral color one um I reach for this one the most because when I'm breaking out I have very very red skin it's very irritated um, and that really does work at covering it up making the colours balance out more so I'm going to move on to the next section over here we have a L'Oreal infallible fixing mist I haven't actually used this one yet but I'm really excited to try it the same with the Revolution Pro Fix one. I haven't used it yet, but I am excited to see how it works. I have a NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Um, I do like this. It has run out. I don't think I will be purchasing it again. However, I wouldn't be upset if somebody brought me one for, say, Christmas or something. Um, because it is a good spray but I just wouldn't be purchasing it again personally um, I have the NYX First Base Premier Base it, um, it is good but on my skin it just because I'm very oily it just doesn't work as well as a cream because I feel like the creams kind of soak up my oils and help to balance that all out I have some lip balms this one's really good if I put my matte lipsticks on because they get very, very dried out. It instantly re adds the moisture. Um, same with this Nivea Hydro Care one, very, very good one. And this one is the Strawberry Shine one. I got this one because um, I had very sore lips one day and didn't really want to put any lip products on my face, but I wanted 
finish off my Lorcan this just has as it says a strawberry shine so it is red it doesn't come up like that though it's more subtle it is still nice um, and then I have the NYX all over balm which is really really good I usually put that on for bed and like lap up a lot of it because it, it is really good at re-adding the moisture I have a colour correcting palette by MUA um, I'm not a massive fan of this I don't really reach for it at all um, this is the same as the one that is in here actually but this is the loose powder don't really reach for this anymore um over here i have um as you can see a very very loved primark liquid lipstick um i used to use this all the time when i was at school but i don't really reach for it anymore if i'm honest i don't know why it's still there these are actually exactly the same the same as these they're the same color they are the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lipsticks in this is the colour Charm Offensive and this is the colour Rose and Shine I believe yeah and it is also the Sexy Mother Pucker but in a smaller one really handy for travelling and then these are my lipsticks this is a Ted Baker one I believe it is like a pinky ready colour. Just open it up for you guys. It's a really nice colour. I used to reach for it all the time, but I'm more into the liquid lipsticks now. And then this is a collection one in a ready burgundy colour. Again, it is a really nice colour. It's a lot more red than the Ted Baker one. And then this is also a collection one. This is a purple one which I used to use all the time because I used to go for quite dramatic lipsticks um, because I wasn't very good at eyeshadow. So this is a purple, very, very dark. I absolutely loved it when I wasn't good at like eyeshadow because I felt like it just made it look like I'd made more of an effort and then this is one of the Kate ones by Rimmel I believe yeah and I believe this is like a ready pinky colour as well a lot more pink in this one I believe but I haven't really used it to be fair now I'm going to move on to the next drawer. So in this drawer, which sometimes gets a little bit stuck. There we go. You can just about see if I move these out of the way, it will open. More than that, but it is quite a heavy drawer. I'm scared of the whole thing like toppling over. So this has my primers in and as you can see my foundations. Um, and this is like one of my favourite drawers because I'm obsessed with primers and foundations because um, they are like the base of your makeup. So if that isn't right, the rest of your makeup isn't going to look right in my personal opinion. I have a NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, which is really good at putting underneath your highlighter. I have a Benefit Professional, which is my favourite if I'm honest it's my favourite primer it just really gives you like that flawless base I used to use uh, the NYX pore filler ever since I tried the benefit one I don't really reach for this one anymore which is a shame because I do have you can see another one underneath the angel veil primer which again I don't really reach for anymore can't even get it out because I've put it so far to the back. It's just stuck. Oh dear. Yeah, my Angel Real one. I don't really reach for that anymore because the Barry M one I just feel gives more of a flawless finish. 
which obviously is what I'm going for in my base. So yeah, I really recommend the Barry M Flawless Original Primer as well as the Flawless Colour Correcting Primer because as I said earlier, when my skin is breaking out, it goes very, very red and this just neutralises the red tones. Um, I have another Born to Glow over there. Um, to be honest, I don't really use them that much, but it's always good to have a backup. This one I would normally have in my makeup bag if I don't have time to do my makeup in the morning and then I will do it either when I get to work or on the way there or anything like that. And then I have my foundations. Now this is my Bella Pier powder foundation. I really liked this in summer because it felt like I had nothing on my skin. A little bit like talcum powder. Um, but it still gave a nice finish. I don't really reach for it anymore, seeing as I have my NARS. I think this is the day Weightless. I can't quite remember the name. All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, which is really, really good. Obviously, it is very dark compared to my skin because, as I said, I wear it in summer. And then I have. A Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 105. This I like to wear for if I'm going to work or something like that because it's really really affordable. Um, my Estee Lauder is my go to foundation, especially when I have a tan on because it blends in flawlessly. I love it so 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 much and it lasts all day and controls my oils very very well while still not making me look like I've got unhealthy skin like it still kind of looks quite dewy but not it's still matte if that makes sense and then I have two NYX Total Control foundation drops I have the third colour which is porcelain and then I also have the second colour which is too pale for me which is alabaster I believe um, and I use this if I ever want to wear my SA Lauder or my NARS um, I will just put that and mix it in um, on my hand um, just to like get the right colour for my skin so that I don't have that horrible horrible line that some people get on the neck. I hate it so much, it just looks so disgusting. I would die. The last drawer, which is oh I just love this drawer so 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 much. I'm actually gonna move some of this stuff out of the way. Very unorganized as you can see. So I have Two of the sleek contour palettes. I have the light one and the medium one. Now why I got the medium one, I have no idea because I'm so pale like all the time. So 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 pale. However, there is one shade that I really really like. Oh, I'm just making a mess. Sorry about that guys. This colour I believe, or it could even be this one, actually I feel like it's this one, looks really, really, really nice to give that like bronzy finish, I love it, however I have used it as you can see, I've tried, I do not like this colour, however I love the mirror, like look how big that mirror is, very dirty to be fair, but you could do your whole face and makeup in that mirror, like wow. So it is a very good contour kit to carry with you when you are travelling. Now this is the light one. And I haven't quite mastered the cream contour yet. So I don't really reach for those as much. And we'll carry on with palettes. This, like I threw away all my other um, contour palettes because this, this is just my go-to. It was the only thing I was using. It was a waste of time me having any other palette because I could use this every single day and it's lasted me ages. I think I've had this like near and a year now. I've only just reached pan on this one. Such, such, such a good palette and it just blends out easily, effortlessly. So when I was starting to do contour, it was just a blessing to have brought that palette. I have a 
collection bronze glow i haven't actually used it because this color i use as like a bronzer really really good bronzer to be honest oh now my things don't fit i have this and i don't honestly know why i have it because i never ever use it it is a blush and contour duo by nyx i never ever use it so i don't know whether it's good i haven't even tried it might be good if i'm traveling um because it seems to have the same color that i use for contouring so it might be worth a shot um i have the nyx wonder stick which was amazing when i was trying to cream contour the colors in it for i think this is light yeah in light the highlight actually highlights like i feel like all the contour sticks that i've brought the highlighter just never actually highlights it's just a waste of time and then this is my hula quickie contour stick i love 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 it this is actually my second one this one's like brand new um i love it um it's really just easy to blend out um makes cream contouring a dream rather than using the palettes which i'm not the best at must admit so i'm gonna go on to my makeup brushes now so in this stand here it is organized i know it looks like a hot mess right now but it is organized so this is like my foundation brushes so i have like a small stippling brush here um which to be honest i don't even think i've ever used and then i have a number seven foundation brush it is really 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 soft i normally use that if i'm like going traveling or something like that i have a real techniques buffing brush which is very well loved um i just love their buffing brushes um the real techniques um what is the name of this brush square foundation brush it's really good for like my highlighters um not my highlighters my like concealers when i'm highlighting i have just a really really cheap makeup brush um to like if ever i just want to like paint my face because i feel like with these kind of makeup brushes you like paint your face like yeah i normally use this if like i'm going to work or something i just need to quickly like whip my foundation on love the hand movement there um and then these are like my i say like powder but i don't feel like they are powder but you know they're like contour and powder i believe um so this one obviously is definitely a powder brush it's just so fluffy i love these real tiny brushes can we just appreciate this for two seconds please moment of silence they're beautiful i love 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 them and same with the rose gold ones just amazing brushes i really really want some more of them as you can tell i love my Real Techniques brushes, I have this one by e.l.f. The contouring brush, which helps me with my cream contour just to get that straight line, like you can never go wrong. And then I have this sculpting brush, which is really good at getting in that crease with, with your contour. And then I have this one if I want a really subtle contour because it just blends the colour out so easily I just love it so so much and then this is like my eyeshadow brushes my um like for my eyebrows my concealer around my eyebrows which I have kind of stopped doing and I don't really know why so yeah it's just like eyeshadows and contour not contour don't know why I said contour eyebrows and things like that i really like this one which is just i feel like it's super drugs like own brand but it was really really good because it has the spoolie on the end which i love and then this once you get product on it these just kind of like stick together and go really really flat love 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 it um so yeah i feel like that's it for that one i don't really feel like i need to explain anymore and then over here this I just find really handy to have on their own because I use them every single day so I can do my makeup, I just 
pick up the whole thing, bring it with me wherever I want to do my makeup, and then they're all just there. So this is my like powder brush, my go-to powder brush. It just doesn't make powder on your face look like a layer of powder. It just really blends it in really nicely. I use this for baking under my eyes because it gets in there really nicely. However, I'm looking for another blo uh, blush, brush with more of like a pointed top so it can get right in there. I have another two of the painting brushes because like I said, I normally use them for work when I'm like rushing, like paint it on my face. I have this one if I want to like highlight my underneath my brow bone because it gets right in there. I use this for like buffing out any harsh lines with my contour if I want like more of a subtle finish. I use this for blusher. This is just a Jack Rose brush but it is really really nice. I use it for my blusher. I use this one for my highlight. Honestly the best highlighting brush. It just makes it look so like subtle but you can build it up so easily without it looking like just a line because it blends it out really nicely. This is my favourite, favourite, favourite eyebrow like brush. It has the spoolie again on the end because it's just handy to have there and it is a NYX one and it has the casing on top. Honestly I'm surprised I haven't lost it yet. And yeah it is just really nice and thin even without any product on it just all round a really really good brush again that nice nice defined line I use this just to get rid of any baking powder just wipes it away doesn't like make it like just blend it doesn't like blend it out it just buffs it straight off this is a um, what are they called again the eco tools um, I'm not sure who is like the brand but they're like I feel like I'm pretty sure they're like made of like bamboo and things like that but this end bit here honest to god made my blending out of eyeshadow so easy like it was a joke it was just so easy to blend out and then obviously this I can use to get into like oh is it gonna there we go I used to like put in my tear duct or under my eyebrows or smudge like underneath my like bottom lash line this honestly is the same as this one over here which i showed you earlier i just keep this for a spare spoolie um and then i have this because i got my eyelashes done they are eyelash extensions so i use this to just brush through them every morning every night after i've been in the shower just obviously to keep them looking nice and then this I use for contour I know it is probably a weird brush for contour but I don't use any of my brushes for the right things because I just feel like this is because it's so small but yet fluffy for powder because sometimes with powder I feel like it gets all over your face and then you end up with that like muddy color don't like that so with this I feel like it just makes everything look so much nicer keeps it all in one place it's just really 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 nice I use this eyeshadow brush to set my eyeshadow base with so when I put my base on I will then use a skin colored eyeshadow and then yeah set it with this brush and then I use this brush for like buffing out my highlighter if it ever goes too like too too bold and I don't like it I'll just buff it out with this so it's nice to have it there and that's pretty much it for those I feel like this is self-explanatory sorry about the weird noise in the background I'm pretty sure someone just sneezed so yeah I feel like this is self-explanatory these are my beauty blenders very very dirty beauty blender so this is just I believe a super drug own brand beauty blender and it is so soft and like bouncy I love it so so much it just blends out my foundation a dream these are some small real techniques ones very very dirty as you can tell um I use that for under my eyes this is a real techniques one it's so soft but I don't really reach for these anymore just because I feel like they're still quite expensive compared to these ones um and I really really like these ones this is just another uh, 
my Real Techniques one. Obviously very, very loved. It's even ripped. I might as well just throw that away. And then this is a primer one. I use this if I ever use this setting powder because um, when it's damp, it just picks the powder up so effortlessly. And look at that point on the top. Can we just stress how easily that is going to get it under my under eye? Love, 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 love it. So that is basically it for this makeup storage. I'll just pop my things away. Now we'll move on to my makeup bags, which are down here. So down here, obviously I said earlier, we have the three makeup bags. And now I'm sat on the floor and I am uncomfortable. Sorry guys. So obviously I went through it shortly earlier. My brush cleaners brush cleaning tool the everyday wipes because your girl loves them uh, my iphone cases again still not sure what's it there should put them away really so this is my like eyeshadows i don't have loads of eyeshadow palettes because i've only recently got very good oh no varnish love it right so we have the glow top shop um they're like like an eyeshadow kind of like paste like it's quite hard to explain for like i haven't really used them very much so this is in the color fascinate it's like a pinky color i'll use it if i'm wearing like pink eyeshadows and i just want to quickly have that like glitter lid and then this one is gleam and because i've been loving 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 like brown eyeshadows and things lately can i get the lid off yes i can this one is very very well loved as you can probably tell i love 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 the color it just it just is a dream and they just go on so easily stay on all day um i just love them and then this one is in polished i used to use this in my tear duct until oh i can't get this one off i actually cannot get it off until um I seen a picture with it on as you can see i'm still trying to get it off because i'm sad um i seen a picture and it had it just didn't look right it looked very like caked up and i was really 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 upset when i seen the picture i was like to my friend get it off get it off don't like it and obviously she deleted the picture because you've got to this is the maybelline nudes um well the the nudes eyeshadow palette i don't really reach for this anymore however some of the shades in here are beautiful um there is the the blushed nude by maybelline i haven't really like experimented with this palette yet because i feel like i'm only just like there with eyeshadow and i know what i'm good at and i know what i'm not good at so when i want to try like a pale smoky eye or something i will definitely be using that this burgundy palette i love 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 i actually had one before and this is just another one because i feel like burgundies on my color eye just it really really brings out my eye um honestly this is a blush palette i don't use it as a blush palette i use it for my eyeshadows i know that sounds a bit insane but it works really 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 well and then i have this revolutions eyeshadow palette which i have used a fair bit hence why it is disgustingly messy and then there is this one my revolutions makeup ultra eyeshadows which you can't see the color so i'm going to open it up for you oh well done me still got the silicone thing on top i mean look at that mirror like wow i mean hey me as well but um as you can see i only really use the brown shade and there is so much part of it it's actually disgusting um but yeah very 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 good palette like can we just stress look how jet jet black that the color is wow and then you could even add a bit of like glitter to it like i just feel like there is so many different things i could do with the palette hence why i picked it up just gonna shut that now so that's it for like eyeshadows and things oh i didn't put my silicone thing back on oh, oh no on to this one if i can get the thing open sorry guys this is a, another soap and 
glory light set thing which has another blush in hence why i haven't thrown it away this is the lid that goes to the jar where i have my everyday makeup brushes these are some eyelashes with my duo glow wouldn't use any other eyelash glue it just goes so tacky so quick it just yeah like have you ever had that problem where the inner corner of your eye just won't stick down you will not have that problem with that eyeshadow we have some nail files there there's actually nothing in that case i don't really know why i still have it in here i have like a sharpener because i don't really know if i'm honest some more real technique sponges like honestly have a bit of a problem with the sponges some stippling brushes that i never use so they're just in there i had these which i tried out i just don't feel like i have mastered it yet but they are just from primer really really cheap so i thought i'd try them but yeah it didn't really work out could always go back to them and that's it for that makeup bag so that was it for my makeup collection um that's pretty much everything that I own um, apart from the stuff in my like makeup bag that I carry around with me which is a mess so if you would like to see a video on that let me know in the comment section down below as I said this is my first ever YouTube video so if you have any tips on how to make my video better feel free to leave them down in the comment section i would really really appreciate it if you hit a like and subscribe because obviously just starting out i'm trying to get out there um if you enjoyed this video please let me know um anything else that you would like me to film just let me know and i will get straight onto that for you guys um and yeah thank you for watching if you made it all the way to the end um and yeah i will see you guys later bye very quickly i forgot to say if you would like to follow me on twitter or instagram that will be down in the description box below so if you would like to see even more of my face and my life feel free to follow me on those social networking sites as well Thank you so much guys and I will speak to you soon. Bye.